Welcome to another Fuser tutorial. In this video we'll be covering the Fuser mobile viewer. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is position the camera at a point that I want the camera to start once it is imported into the mobile viewer. So the way this works is the last position the camera is at when the export starts is where the camera will actually start inside the mobile viewer and that will become its home position. I'll cover more of this when we get to the mobile viewer. So let's go ahead and export it out. So the save, load, cache file, and tab, we have a few different export options. Uh, only the mobile cloud panel is what's used for the mobile side of it. I'll cover all of it so you kind of know what they are. The project panel for Fuser Project is save or load cache file. A cache file is a format designed specifically for Fuser. If you sync up Fuser and Revit the first time, you can export out everything you see and then just load that into Fuser without actually having to sync up with the Revit file. Um, this is great for working around the office if you don't want to have to actually load into Revit. If you just want to show people kind of what you did, uh, you can use the Fuser cache file option for that. Uh, the viewer panel is a 32 or 64 bit viewer. These can be passed off to clients. Uh, they do not need to have Fuser installed on the machine. This will handle everything it needs to actually view it. Um, so this is great to pass off to clients. It is a stripped down version of Fuser. They won't have the option to do a lot of what you have uh, in this panel around here. It's just an avatar with the option of going to free camera if they want to. Uh, they can write annotations on objects, but that's about it. And then the Fuser Mobile Cloud Panel. Uh, this has Dropbox and Google Drive service installed in it, or set up in it. So selecting one of these options, you can actually log into your Dropbox or Google Drive account, and that's what the file will upload once the export is completed. And then we have the local drive option, which is what I'll use for this demonstration, uh, just for the sake of time. So I'm going to go ahead and select local drive option and I need to name my fuser file. I'm going to use the same file as my Revit file just so I know what I have exported. And you can see it exports out as an FZM. Let's go ahead and click save and this will start the export process. Uh, this is going to take about a minute so I'm going to stop the video here but once it's done I will be showing you uh, the other side of it and that's loading it into the mobile device. Alright, here we are in the Fuser mobile app. At the bottom you can see we have iTunes shared files, Dropbox, and Google Drive. The iTunes shared file area is where you'll find the files that were loaded locally onto your machine. Clicking Dropbox will allow you to log into your Dropbox page. Go ahead and cancel out of this and click on the Google Drive. I've already logged into Google Drive for this demonstration. And I'm going to click on the Bigger Files folder. And finally I'm going to open up Backbone Resident Construction Docs. Go ahead and click on this file. If you have not already downloaded the file onto your device, this is where the download process will begin. And once it finishes downloading, it will launch it into uh, the application. I've already downloaded this one for the sake of time. So let's go ahead and show off the controls. The gamepad on the left will move the camera forward, backwards, left, and right. And then normal touch controls will rotate the camera in place. You can use a combination of both to move the camera around the project to kind of view everything. As you can see I'm using the gamepad control at the bottom right corner of the screen as well as the normal touch controls to move around the project. If at any time you feel that you're lost or you want to get back to a familiar position, click on the home button in the top right corner of the screen. This will take you back to the starting point of the project. This is the home position that was created uh, at the export time of the Fuser Mobile project. And this is also the same point that the camera will load in every time this project is loaded. That's going to do it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out calictech.com. Also, for any questions, please use Calictech's contact page or check out our forum.